This is the record of Pilate's trial before Tiberius Caesar. One thing you should know before I read it is that Caesar was known amongst all of Rome to be God, to be the Christ, to be the Messiah. One of the coins they actually had said light of the world on it. So that was the whole claim of Caesar to the throne and to the gods is that Caesar was the Messiah to the world. So you need to understand that before you uh, hear this letter, because it caused quite a commotion what happened there, the things that Tiberius Caesar said and the things that Pilate said. So Pilate is being brought before Tiberius Caesar because a massive earthquake and darkness has fallen across all of Rome. And Pilate is being brought on trial for destroying Rome by killing Jesus when it was the Jews who wanted Jesus dead. So here is the trial and condemnation of Pilate. Now when the letters came to the city of the Romans and were read to Caesar with no few standing there, they were all terrified because through the transgression of Pilate, the darkness and the earthquake had happened to all the world. And Caesar, being filled with anger, sent soldiers and commanded that Pilate should be brought as a prisoner. And when he was brought to the city of the Romans, and Caesar heard that he had come, he sat in the temple of the gods above all the senate, and with all the army, and with all the multitude of his power, and commanded that Pilate should stand in the entrance. And Caesar said to him, Most impious one, when thou sawest so great signs done by that man, why didst thou dare do this to us? By doing such an evil deed, thou hast ruined all the world. And Pilate said, King and autocrat, I am not guilty of these things. It is the multitude of the Jews who are precipitate and guilty. And Caesar said, And who are they? Pilate said, Herod, Archelaus, Philip, Annas, and Caiaphas, and all the multitude of the Jews. Caesar said, For what cause did thou execute their purpose? And Pilate said, Well, their nation is seditious and insubordinate and not submissive to your power. And Caesar said, When they delivered him to thee, thou oughtest to have made him secure and sent him to me, and not consented to them to crucify such a man, who is just and wrought such great and good miracles as thou said in thy report. For by such miracles Jesus was manifested to be the Christ, the King of the Jews. And when Caesar said this, and himself named the name of Christ, all the multitude of the gods fell down together and became like dust where Caesar sat with the Senate. And the people that stood near Caesar were filled with trembling because of the utterance of the word and the fall of their gods. And being seized with fear, they all went away, every man to his house, wondering at what had happened. And Caesar commanded Pilate to be kept safely, that he might know the truth about Jesus. And on the morrow, when Caesar sat in the capital with all the Senate, he undertook to question Pilate again. And Caesar said, Say the truth, most impious one, for through thy impious deed, which thou didst commit against Jesus, even here, doing of thy evil works was manifested, and that the gods were brought to ruin. Say then, who is he that was crucified? For his name hath destroyed all the gods. Pilate said, and verily his records are true, for even I myself was convinced by his works, that he was greater than all the gods whom we venerate. And Caesar said, For what cause then didst thou perpetrate against him such daring and doing, not being ignorant of him, or surely designing some mischief, mischief to my government? And Pilate said, I did it because of the transgression and sedition of the lawless and ungodly Jews. And Caesar was filled with anger, and held a council with all his senate and officers, and ordered a decree to be written against the Jews. Thus, to Licinius, who holdeth the first place in the east country, greeting, I have been informed of the audacity perpetrated very recently by the Jews inhabiting Jerusalem and the cities round about, and their lawless doing, how they compelled Pilate to crucify a certain god called Jesus, through which great transgression of theirs the world was darkened and drawn into ruin. Determine, therefore, with a body of soldiers to go to them, there at once, and proclaim their subjugation to bondage by this decree, by obeying and proceeding against them, and scattering them abroad in all the nations, enslave them, and by driving their nation from all Judea as soon as possible, show, wherever this has not yet appeared, that they are full of evil." 
And when this decree came into the East Country, Licinius obeyed through fear of the decree and laid waste to all nations of the Jews, and caused those that were left in Judea to go into slavery with them that were scattered amongst the Gentiles, that it might be known by Caesar that these things had been done by Licinius against the Jews in the East Country, and to please him. And again Caesar resolved to have Pilate questioned, and commanded a captain, Albius by name, to cut off Pilate's head, saying, as he laid hands upon a just man that is called Christ, he also shall fall in like manner and find no deliverance. And when Pilate came to the place, he prayed in silence, saying, O Lord, destroy not me with the wicked Hebrews, for I should not have laid hands upon thee, but for the nation of lawless Jews, because they provoked sedition against me. But thou knowest that I did it in ignorance. Destroy me not, therefore, for this my sin nor be mindful of the evil that is in me, Lord, and in thy servant Procula, who standeth with me in this hour of my death, who thou taughtest to prophesy that thou must be nailed to a cross. Do not punish her too in my sin, but forgive us, and number us in the portion of thy just ones. And behold, when Pilate had finished his prayer, there came a voice from heaven, saying, All generations and the families of the Gentiles shall call thee blessed because under thee were fulfilled all these things that were spoken by the prophets concerning me. And thou myself must appear as my witness at my second coming, and thou thyself must appear as my witness at my second coming, when I shall judge the twelve tribes of Israel, and them that have not confessed my name. And the prefect cut off the head of Pilate, and behold, an angel of the Lord received it. And when his wife Procula saw the angel coming, and received his head, she also, being filled with joy, forthwith gave up the ghost and was buried with her husband.